The dreamers gather in Neo-Beijing's Starlight District, the wanderers and the thrill-seekers, those with poems in their souls and secrets in their hearts, all those racing toward the bright, unknowable future, all those running from pasts painful and unforgiven. If you listen carefully, you can hear the song of the city. It's in the sharp, raucous laughter of the kids barreling down the crowded streets, in the heavy electronic beats erupting like great beasts from basement clubs, in the wind whistling through dark alleys, and in the rain as it drops onto the city like so many falling stars. Two years ago, I stumbled into the city, half-starved and afraid, and I couldn't hear the song. My heart beat louder than the music. Memories rise unbidden, of pain, of loss, of a handsome face so beloved yet turned from me. I place a hand against my throat until the rapid pulse steadies. The past is in the mind, as Dr. Koga used to say. Let it go. Let it be. The future is in the heart. Tonight, the song is a light patter of droplets on the window pane. I listen for a moment more before turning back to the cafe, broom in hand. The alchemy of dreams lies in the labyrinth of shops surrounding the moon court. The proprietors run the shop with their university-bound daughter, Ting Ting. I believe at first they hired me out of pity. A girl, just sixteen, who couldn't understand their language, let alone speak it, who had but the clothes on her back and, according to Ting Ting, a haunting in her eyes. But after these two years, I've wedged my way into their hearts. They undoubtedly have in mine. A few patrons linger at the small, round tables dotting the dim interior, lit with strands of fairy lights. At the back of the cafe is the counter, beside which stands a small glass case of desserts. The familiar sense of peace settles over me, of being here, alive and safe. Ting Ting approaches with a broom of her own. We've been sweeping along the perimeter of the cafe. Now we meet in the middle by the display of lychee rose cupcakes. Ting Ting grips her broom tightly, her pretty face flushed, her eyes beseeching. <laughs>